I'd like to welcome everybody to the Grizz. And of course, I'm your host, Rashad Grizzmore. I have a fun and exciting show for you today. The Cavs and Andrew Wiggins, a new deal is on the rise. Marcus Allen makes comments about the Raiders. And the Open Championship ratings have came out. No one cares about your precious golf, for those of you who like it. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy me. And let's get it. Thank you, everyone out there, for tuning in to me, The Grizz. However it is, you are tuning in. So today, it's a good day. It's a Monday. I finally watched Fallen Skies. Yes, I did. TNT. Oh, man, it was just so exhilarating watching it. And you probably said, well, Grizz, it's been on for a long time. Yes, it, it has. For what? five or six weeks but i honestly forgot to watch the show i did i'm sorry don't sue me i just did but then one day i was sitting in the room and something came to me it said i was because you know i was trying to think i said what's going on with my shows i haven't been able to watch any shows and then fallen skies just came right in my head and man 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 It's been good. I got to catch up on my shows, so I have to go on the internet and watch them, but I I need to catch up. I saw the last two episodes, but I got to catch up because some things have been going on, and I don't know what's going on. But you don't want to hear me talk about the falling skies. But first off, I just want to tee off on the Lakers right now. I mean, I do. I want you to just excuse me because I'm getting ready to go to a place and... I haven't been to this place. I haven't really been able to talk about the Lakers, of course. You know, I haven't been on in a week. There have been some problems, been kind of sick. This weather has had me up and down. But the Grizz, he's here. He's ready. He's getting ready to do his thing. So I just want you to just take a roll with me just for a second. So the Los Angeles Lakers, they have made some moves. Not good moves whatsoever Carlos Boozer Ed Davis just pathetic players just truly pathetic individuals I don't know what the Lakers I don't know what they think they're doing I don't I look at Mitch Kupchak and I'm here to tell you guys I'm not a fan of Mitch Kupchak whatsoever I think that he is an arrogant pompous dude i do he walks around with his chest all poked out like yeah i'm mitch kupchak and i've won nba championships but mitch i mean let's be honest let's be honest can can, can i be honest with you people here can i please be honest what has mitch kupchak done to have that type of mentality because if we go down the line he hasn't done too much of anything let's be honest with ourselves what has Mitch Kupchak done? For real. Let, let's be honest. Okay, so you won, what is it? What, five? No, not five. Four NBA championships. Because, mind you, the logo left after the first one, but the team was already constructed. The blueprint was already there. What have you done? Only thing I see is, is a bunch of bum players. And you know I don't like bums. Because they stink. That's all the Lakers have on their basketball team. That's that's all they have. What has Mitch Kupchak done? Somebody please tell me. Now, I'm not going to indict Jim Buss. No, I'm not going to do that. I hear so many people say, well, this is Jim Buss's fault. And in the past, I would agree to an extent. But the fact of the matter is, is that Mitch Kupchak signed a three year extension a three-year extension so what you're telling me is is that you are the person who's going to make the trades now the biggest trades of course has to go through the owner no doubt about that but you're going to make the mid-level deals just you and the only thing i know is is that the lakers have a bunch of bums players that are past their primes Carlos Boozer. Don't get me wrong. In Boozer's heyday, Boozer could play. 
But for me and my brothers, this is what Carlos Boozer is known for. Goddamn! Because every time he would go against the Lakers and he would try to go to the basket, goddamn! That's the only thing that would come out of his mouth. I'm not lying. You can go and, and see the footage. He said that numerous of times. Ed Davis. Ed Davis? Out of North Carolina? Who was a lottery pick? Come on now. And then I was watching Sportsnet, the Laker Network, for those of you who do not know. They were sitting there and they were lying about this man's resume. Saying that, oh, he is a rim protector. He blocked shots. Now, uh, right now, right now as we speak, I am on ESPN.com. This is Ed Davis' stat. 5.7 points per game. This is for last year. 4.1 4.1 rebounds per game, 0.7 blocks per game. The line. Yes, I'm calling out Sportsnet. Don't lie. Because I'm like a parent to a child. Children, if you tell them to do something, you have to look over their work because it probably will resemble trash. And that's what the Lakers gave me. It was nothing but trash. Because one thing about me, I'm going to trust but verify Ronald Reagan to me and I'm not even a fan of Ronald Reagan but out of everything that he has ever said that's one of the only thing that resonated with me trust but verify I trust you did it but I'm still going to verify what you have done or what you have said what are the Lakers doing Mitch Kupchak what are you doing the logo gave you Pal Gasol he gave it to you because the logo was saying, my protege, he's looking so bad. You can't do that. You're a representation of me. You can't do that. So you know what? I'm going to help you out. This is what I want you to do, Mitch. I want you to call over to Memphis because they're getting ready to trade Pal. Come up with an offer and you can get Pal. That's exactly what happened. What has Mitch Kupchak done? I'm putting all of this on Mitch. I am. I'm putting all of this on Mitch Kupchak. Now, I hear some of you saying, well, hey, hey, he he did get Chris Paul. But guess what? David Stern said, no, he vetoed the deal. So guess what? You cannot cry and whine over spilled milk. You have to keep on matriculating. I'll give you the Meta World Peace deal, but Meta said himself when he talked to Mitch Kupchak on the phone, he would have came over here for a million dollars. He wasn't going to tell Mitch that, but he wound up getting five million to come here. Trevor Reza, I'll give you a round of applause for that because that was actually a good deal. But what was the reason why you could not resign him? Luke Walton. Yes, Luke. That Luke Walton. You gave him 30 million dollars over six years i'll never forget it because i was upset i was watching at the time it was the jim rome show and jim rome brought it up he said oh because luke Walton was on the show and luke was saying yeah i'm getting ready to go sign the contract and i was like what luke Walton? that's mitch kupchak jordan farmar sasha vujicic you gave him three years 15 million dollars after he let Ray Allen, I don't, it was just horrible, his defense. That pesky defense, it's not going to work too long in the NBA because guys are going to take their time. And what did Ray Allen do in the finals? Was it Paul Pierce? He was getting ready to set a screen for him. Ray Allen said, don't even worry about this. I'm going to take this guy to school. And that's exactly what he did. Mitch Kupchak. And guess what? No other NBA team bid it for Sasha Vujicic. He was threatened to go overseas. You say, Sasha, go. You couldn't resign Karan Butler because of who? Luke Walton. Even Powell Gasol. And we'll talk about Powell later because for those of you who do not know, Powell Gasol is one of my all-time favorite Lakers. But let's get back to Mitch Kupchak because I'm tired of Mitch Kupchak. I wish he'd just go. I don't think he knows basketball. I really, I don't think so. I don't think so. So then, we, 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 when I look at all of the deals that he has done, it, it just befuddles my mind. The draft picks. It's like, you couldn't do any better than that? 
And I don't want to hear about, well, they were picking late in the first round. Look at the Spurs. R.C. Buford. Basketball minds. They have the knack to find the player that no one else can find. Ginobili. Was it 47th pick? Tony Parker late in the first round. Kawhi Leonard. They, they find a way. Even though he was picked somewhere in the mid first round. But they were able to find him. No one else drafted him. They're able to find the guys no one wants. And then they're able to cultivate that. That, that individual, name me one player that the Lakers have drafted, with the exception of Andrew Bynum, because Jim Buss made that deal. Because when the, the, the greatest owner in sports history, that was his first pick. And he told his son, you can make your pick, and that was Andrew Bynum. But what player has the Lakers cultivated? Name me one. You can't. You can't do it because they have not did it. I'm upset with the Lakers, and and a few days ago, when everything was transpiring, I got scared. I really got scared, and I'll tell you why I got scared. Next on the Grizz.